What's up everyone, it's your Void Boy here again and we're going to be doing another one of the Christmas special days. I figured today we would open the Flesh and Blood first set that I got. The, uh, the Welcome to Wrath. This is another game that I want to play. One of my buddies actually has played it before. Said I'd probably like it. Said I wouldn't doubt it. It looks like a fun game. I don't know too much about the cards in this. I haven't put a whole lot of research in, but you know some of them get kind of expensive. Not really looking for expensive things, just kind of looking for... Uh, stuff to play with so we'll open this box see if i can get some stuff i have another box of this not this specific set but another box of flesh and blood that will hopefully get me to build a couple decks and like maybe we can test this game out too comment down below if you've never played and you want to see maybe some uh review on the gameplay once i do get some games in i'll also leave down below where i got this box ran me about 60 dollars somewhere around there but let's get into this box. Let's see what some flesh and blood cards look like. So it looks like this one comes with a little bit less packs. So 24 packs. 24 packs. It's enough to do a sealed or a draft, apparently, for this game. That'd be kind of cool. I'd like to do that. So it looks like these come with 15 cards per booster pack. So that makes sense. A little bit bigger packs. They feel thicky. I'm not 100% sure how to tell rarity, but we'll probably be able to tell that once uh, once we open some packs. Interesting, it has dice mechanics. It's like there's power in like a defense. Go again. Swing, that's kind of cool looking. Go again. Ooh. This looks like a hero, yeah. So these are like the people you fight with. Oh, it's double sided. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I see. So there's a little symbol. Yeah, there's like an M down there. That means like majestic. See if we can get there's like common so okay i see looks like this one's foil didn't really tell that in the first pass through but after going back in the light i can see that looks like this is a majestic this is a rare so, and these are some commons and this one has a t on it so it's a token okay okay now that the rarities make a little bit more sense know what to be kind of more excited for also it seems like foils are like really wanted in this looks like it's kind of like magic most things can be foils Ooh, this is a rare Ooh, that's majestic cool Ooh, a foil. i wonder if each comes with the foil How to. so it looks like there's fabled and legendary rarity too I'm not sure but those look like those are what hold the big money I think I've seen Surging Strike in each each one. It's interesting. Ooh. Okay. So I wonder how drafting goes in this. This kind of seems like something I would like to like learn with like drafting or sealing <clears throat> after like getting the mechanics with the deck down, because that seems like it could be fun, like looking at some of these stuff. We got this guy last back. Ooh, that's a foil. Foils are kind of hard to see. We're good. Dawnblade. 
These are like some weapons. Unmovable. Pummel. Ooh. I think this is a super rare. It's got an S. There we go. Got an S down in the bottom. Cool. Pulled a super rare. See now this is this I could definitely tell was a foil. This this foils out nicely. Generic aura token with some ninja weapons. Looks like you get like two rares each pack, which is interesting. Ooh, this one's another super rare. Ooh, a foil rare. Okay. Got three rares in that box. Or in that pack. <laughs> three rares in the box. club but that's something i'd find interesting for like drafting there's like multiple rares so it definitely depends on like what you're what you're drafting out sounds cool it's a rare snatch and signal signal of solace this foil? oh yeah you can kind of see the foil in it Crush confidence. Brute action. So I know there's like brute warriors, ninja warriors, guardian warriors. So I know certain things are like um, generic resource. And like some things are generic, so like anyone can do it. It looks like a fun game. I'm excited to try it. I'm really excited to try all these games. To be honest. I mean, except for Pokemon. I didn't buy Pokemon because I was. Excited to try that. I've already played Pokemon. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. Rares. Little common. There was just some also some stuff that I wanted to, you know, get with the uh, pack in there for the Christmas special. Unmovable. Breaking scales. All right, I got a foil of this too, so that's cool. I think this was in the last one. Ooh, a legendary, I think. Yeah, this has a an L. A foil legendary. Oh, this is apparently expensive. Okay. Maybe legendaries only come in foils, I guess. So that's probably why they're harder to hit. Can't confirm that though. I don't know. So it does look like those legendaries only come in foil. So you probably only can hit them with the foil spot. Sable. Nimble Strike Foil. The foil on that really comes out too. I like that one. Ninja Guy. Alright. These are fun to open. I like these. There's so many cards in this pack, and I like the fact that it has double rares. That's cool. And a foil, it seems, in every pack. Ooh, a super rare. Oh. 
I got two of this foil. Wounded bull. Barraging, barraging Bronhide. That's hard to say. Goliath Gauntlet? Oh man. Black Outkick. That's cool. That's a really cool art. Another one of these snatches. Ooh, foil rare. Cool. I really like the art on these cards. Very, uh, like, battle -y. Like, everything looks like an attack. I suppose it's probably more meant to look like that anyway. Since it's like a brawler type card game. Slogism. Front helm. It's cool looking. Ooh. Super. Oh, foil rare. Or no, foil comfort. I've just seen it a bunch. Wreck a romp. Bravo. Bravo. Wounding blow. <clears throat> These do get a plus from me for having two rares and a foil in every pack. Like, that's super cool. That's a plus for me. Ooh, a foil super rare. Nice. Cranial crush. Okay. Big chunky packs too. One more. Ooh, gauntlets now. This really is a cool art. I love it. Let's get a foil of it. Got a bunch of these snatches. I think I already had a foil of this too. Interesting. Let's get another one of those legendaries or some more foil supers. I like this. Or maybe one of those Fs. I think it's a fabled card. That'd be cool. Ooh, a foil snatch. I wonder if this is good. I wonder if that's a good card. Because it, it says draw a card. Most time drawing cards in card games is good. Too. All these are cool. Nimbalism. That foil really sticks out too. I like that. Cuts. Getting down to the last packs here. These are really fun though. Like I really am loving all the art for this. I'm really excited to play this game. 
Looks like I got some cool stuff to try to build a deck with. Foil coming. Five packs left. It's also like 75 cards. Nimbalism. Iron rot legs. Got a bunch of these sigils. And these overpowers, I think. Is it foil? Yes. Yeah. Hard to see. Get another one of them legendaries, or maybe a foil majestic. That would be cool. Learning these rarities already. Beat down, staunch response. Open the center. See, that's an easy foil. You can see that. It's my only complaint so far. Card quality seems good though. Seems like the rarities go rare, super rare, majestic, legendary, fabled, I think. Ooh, see, that's a cool foil. Reggie, that's a cool foil too. I wonder if that's cool for it too. Maybe one day we'll see. So it looks like almost everything can come in a foil. Ooh, Majestic's final crush. Ooh, foil rare. Just from a little bit of research, looks like these are kind of the most expensive cards I got. This one definitely is the most expensive. These kind of have some money. There's probably some other stuff in there. I just didn't do too much looking. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite thing pulled was. I think it was this. It's just really cool looking. And it's a legendary. Only thing I pulled of that. If you don't know, I opened a TCG player shop and I've been listing a bunch of stuff that I have possibly opened from videos or uh, just stuff that I've had before. I've actually opened my own business called Nerd Herd Collectibles. Uh, it's a really easy way to support me by buying some cards. It helps the channel out, helps me out. I wanna to try to bring it to a bigger thing than just an online sh shop on TCG Player, but right now we're just growing. I'd like to give a special thanks to some of the people who donated to this. I'm gonna put their names up on the screen right now. Again, thank you for whatever amount of money you helped support this series. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Again, thank you all for watching. Later.